Hello, my name is Chris and today I'm going to show you how to set up Ifinity, the AMD technology that allows you to use three monitors on one video card. This technology weaves your monitors together to form one large image stretched across all of your monitors. In order to set this up, you will need an AMD 5000 series or higher graphics card that has either a standard display port or mini display port on the card. You will also need to have either Windows Vista or Windows 7 installed on your computer because Ifinity is only supported on DirectX 10.x or 11.x and Windows XP only runs on DirectX 9.x. The card I want to show you, as well as the card we will be setting up Ifinity with today, is the Diamond Radian HD 6970 graphics card. Notice on the top of the card, there are two power ports available where you have to plug power from your power supply into. The first is a PCI Express 6-pin power connector, and the other one is an 8-pin PCI Express power connector. You will need to connect power into both of these ports in order to make this card work. And on the back of the card, you'll notice that there are the following video ports available. First, at the top, we have a single link DVI-D video port. Below that is a dual link DVI-I video port. To the left of that DVI port is an HDMI port. And to the left of the HDMI port, there are two D-shaped ports that are smaller than the HDMI port. These are called mini display ports and we will be using one of these ports today to set up three monitors on this graphics card. Depending on the monitors you have available, you may have to purchase a separate video adapter to make iFinity work. This chart was taken from the user manual located on your installation disk that comes with your AMD 6000 series graphics card. It shows the possible monitor configurations that have been tested by AMD to work with Ifinity within the Catalyst Control Center. The chart shown here applies to all AMD 6000 series graphics cards. Starting from the left, the first column shows a possible monitor configuration you can use. If a box on the chart has a dash in it, this means you cannot use the port on the video card to set up the configuration with. When a listing under the connector says native, you will use the standard cable that connects from your monitor to the graphics card without using a video converter adapter. Now, a question you may ask is, why can I not use what I have available or just purchase an adapter that goes from DisplayPort to whatever I need for my monitor? Also, you may be asking, why does it have to be active? What is the difference between an active and passive DisplayPort adapter? As I mentioned before, you must use a DisplayPort for the third monitor. A passive DisplayPort adapter compensates for the video signal being sent to the DisplayPort and does not refresh the signal. An active DisplayPort adapter will constantly refresh and retransmit the signal being sent to the DisplayPort on the graphics card. An active DisplayPort adapter must be used to set up Ifinity because it will be recognized within the Catalyst Control Center for Ifinity grouping. What I have here today are samples to help you distinguish between active and passive DisplayPort adapters. The first adapter I'm going to show you today is this DVI to Mini DisplayPort video adapter. Notice on one end you have a DVI-I video port and on the other end of it you have a Mini DisplayPort. Now this is a passive adapter, therefore if you try to use this with your third monitor to set up Ifinity with, it will not work. The next two adapters that I'm going to show you are active DisplayPort adapters. These adapters will work with Ifinity if you apply a third monitor to one of these adapters. 
The first adapter I'm going to show you is by Diamond Multimedia, and it is a single link DVI-D2 standard display port video adapter. Notice that on one end I have the single link DVI-D video port, and on the other end I have a standard display port. You'll also notice on one of the ends of the adapter, it shows a logo along with the word active on it, indicating that this adapter is an active adapter. If you're looking for a video adapter to set up Ifinity with, look for this logo and the word active written somewhere on the adapter and this will most likely work with Ifinity. The next adapter I'm going to show you is a single link DVI-D to mini display port video adapter. On one end you have the single link DVI-D video port and on the other end are two cables. One of them is your mini display port and the other cable is a USB port. If you are looking for display port adapters that will work with your monitor setup, please click on the link in the comment section of this video. This will take you to a web page which will bring up a list of AMD certified display port adapters.